Hi Aquarius and welcome to your November 2023 astrology horoscope. 2024 is almost around the corner and if you'd like extra support for what you can expect then I wanted to let you know that my books are open. I have 10 spots available for personal one-on-one -on -one readings. We'll jump on a call for a whole hour and we'll talk about uh, what you can expect for 2024. You can find the booking link down in the description box. And on November 2nd, you have Jupiter in your 4th house, opposing the Sun in your 10th house. You may have been keeping things comfortable, safe, secure, uh, indulgent when it comes to your home and your family. And there might be some things happening in your career on this day especially that are asking you to change, that are asking you to do scary things, to change how you show up in the world. And this is really going to ask you to find the balance between staying safe and comfortable in a safe place like your home versus going out there in the real world and doing things that scare you. On November 3rd, Neptune in your second house is going to oppose Venus in your eighth house. So you have been finding a lot of value, a lot of purpose, and a lot of enjoyment when it comes to your intimate relationships, really seeing another person in a naked and vulnerable way. During this day, though, you're going to be asked to take a look at how you've been sharing with others and in what ways you haven't been sharing and you've been focusing more on yourself and taking care of yourself. And you want to make sure, of course, as always, that there is a balance between the two. On November 4th, Saturn goes direct in your second house. Saturn is officially done with Aquarius and it's going to go from now on uh, forward into Pisces. And having Saturn in your second house, you might especially find things a little bit more difficult with money, with um, the things that bring you the feeling of safety, uh, physical provisions, for example. And that might also translate to you struggling a bit with your self-esteem and your self-confidence. So Saturn will be in your second house for the next two years. So this might be a common theme that you face for two years. And you have to keep in mind with Saturn, um, what it does is it makes it seem like there's a huge wall in front of us. We're being faced with the hard facts, the hard reality of what it means to live life as a human being on Earth. And it makes it seem like we cannot go any further and we cannot get to the final destination, which we want to go to. However, with Saturn, all we need to do is accept the wall, accept the limitations and try to find a way that we can go around them to still get to our final goal. So see if there are any ways that you can face all of the limitations to your physical body, to all of your physical needs, face the limitations that you're seeing when it comes to your self-confidence and self-love and find a really practical, adult, mature way to deal with them and help improve them. On November 13th, we have a new moon in Scorpio in your 10th house. So we have the sun, Mars, and the moon in your 10th house, opposing Uranus in your 4th house. Actually, for all of November, the sun and Mars will be moving pretty much in conjunction with each other. And this means that you're going to face a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of purpose uh, for this whole month. So if there is something uh, precisely difficult that you need to do, uh, November is a perfect time to do that because of all of this energy that you might have. This new moon in Scorpio for you, precisely Aquarius, um, it will mean that there is a new beginning in your career. There is some type of new uh, version of you or a new um, way that people in the public will see you. And all of the ups and downs that you have been experiencing in your personal home, uh, perhaps with your family, perhaps with your physical home where you live, or maybe even with how you've been feeling personally um, on the inside, 
a lot of those ups and downs might challenge you to really accept these uh, new beginnings. Try to find the balance between the two. Make sure you're still taking care of yourself while also grabbing onto those new opportunities. On November 17th, the conjunction between Sun and Mars becomes exact. And exactly on this day, we also have the Sun and Mars trining Neptune in your second house. A trine with Neptune is a really beautiful aspect. And I see this day as a potential for a nice reward, especially if you took the opportunity that was presented to you during the new moon, took it with open hands and really allowed yourself to integrate it into your life. Then just a couple of days later, when this trine with Neptune is happening, I think that this new opportunity could translate to a beautiful boost in your self-confidence, self-love, and self-appreciation. On the 21st, Mars and the Sun reach the final degrees of Scorpio. And as they do that, they hit a sextile to Pluto in your 12th house. So for the last 20 years, you've been going through it, Aquarius. You have had Pluto in your 12th house. So you have really been learning about the power of your mind and how if you set your intentions on uh, the right things, if you really remain focused and you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything that you want. So this is a beautiful way to finish off Scorpio season. It's sort of a way of the universe saying, uh, I see you, remember all of the things that you learned about um, your internal world and your internal belief system, and use that to propel you forward into Sagittarius season. On November 23rd, the sun leaves Scorpio, enters Sagittarius in your 11th house. And as it does that, it squares Saturn in your second house. Just a day later, on the 24th, Mars also enters Sagittarius and also squares Saturn. So the shift with sun and Mars into Sagittarius shows that there's also a shift in your focus from your career, now you're thinking a little bit more broader, zooming out and actually considering where you want to be in the next five to 10 years. What is this future version of you going to look like? However, that shift in focus is not going to go super smoothly at the beginning because we have that square to Saturn. And specifically, because Saturn is in your second house, you might find that all of the difficulties you're facing right now with your self-esteem and, and self-assurance is going to make it difficult for you to dream big and really imagine a future version of you that is aiming for the stars. Don't worry, the Sun and Mars move quite fast. Uh, so they're going to exit this square quite quickly and you can move on to actually having a beautiful Sagittarius season. On the 27th, we have a full moon in Gemini in your fifth house. The moon is in your fifth house while the sun is in your 11th house. During this full moon, we also have a really interesting aspect and that is Venus conjunct the south node in your ninth house. Because the full moon is in Gemini, you can expect a big reveal of information happening during this full moon and information that feels overwhelming and chaotic. And it might especially be some type of information coming in from your uh, romantic relationship or um, information about your hobbies or the things that you find fun and enjoyable. And they shed a light on where you see yourself in the next couple of years. Perhaps you learn something new as to what you actually enjoy and find fun. And with this full moon, you can try and see if that means you need to adjust what this future version of you looks like. Perhaps you need to make sure that this new piece of information you found out is also incorporated into who you want to become. And because we have Venus and the South Node conjunct in your ninth house, I want you to especially think on this full moon about any of the education and um, explorations and travel you've been doing lately that is not 
for yourself, a uh, travel or education that you're taking because you think it's what other people want you to do, uh, things you're doing in that area to please others. And because you have this sort of revelation during this full moon on what you actually find fun, you might also find that this course that you're taking or these things you're learning, you actually don't enjoy them anymore. And you need to be honest to yourself and let them go. The Venus and South Node conjunction becomes even more intense after the full moon and it reaches its peak on November 29th. Overall, Aquarius, I think it's a really nice month for you. There's a lot of career focus and you're trying to sort of balance that with your personal world. And later on, you're shifting to your attention to dreaming about the future. For those that want a little bit more support for 2024 and want to know exactly what 2024 will mean for you, then I have 10 spots open for personalized readings. We're going to sit down for one hour, talk about your chart only and exactly what you can expect. You can find the booking link down in the description box. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch the forecast for December and I hope to see you again soon.